welcome what's up everybody welcome to the channel and in today's video we are going to talk about the super keyword and how we can override classes in python now we had discussed about inheritance multiple inheritance what's up everybody welcome to the channel we had discussed about polymorphism inheritance abstraction and encapsulation in python and in today's video we are going to discuss about the super keyword and how we can override classes so for that i'm quickly going to make a new class python file right here and i'll name this python file as oops 13 and after this i'm going to zoom in a bit and i'll make a class and i'll name it as a so i'll write class a and then I'll make a class variable so I can name it as class var1 and after that I'll make these variables a bit meaningful so I can write this is a class variable in class a and then I can define some functions inside these classes as you know but uh, right now I'll define a constructor so I'll write def underscore underscore in it and then I will make some instance variable of this object so I can write self dot var1 is equal to uh, this is var1 in uh, ace constructor so i'll write this is var1 in ace constructor and similarly i can write self dot class var1 is equal to this is class var1 in ace constructor so i've basically made a constructor inside class a and i've defined two instance variables inside the constructor that is uh, for example if i have an object named a and uh, if i have a class named a so i'll make an object right here i'll write obj1 is equal to a so obj it has two instance variables named var1 and class var1 and i hope that you knew this before the this video because we have talked about the instance variables and how and uh, constructor is used in order to define these instance variables so after this i am going to make another class and i'll name this class as class b and with the help of this class what are we going to do is that we are going to perform inheritance and we are going to override the variables and the functions inside the class a so I'm going to write class B, class B A. It is the child class of class A. And if you are in PyCharm ID, as you can see that it is showing me some arrows, some O's. It is telling me that it is subclassed by B. The class A is being subclassed by B. So that is the advantage of PyCharm ID. And right now, uh, without wasting any time, I'm going to make this class B. So I'm going to write uh, a variable inside class B. So I can write class where two is equal to this is a class variable variable in class a so after this in class b i'm sorry so after this what we can do is that we can make another object for class b i'll write obj2 is equal to b uh, class and after this i can use this b class in order to access the variables inside the class a and after that we can also access the constructor because basically whenever you make a function whenever you make an object of the b class the b class it accesses the uh, the constructor of its parent class because it does not have any constructor of its own i haven't overridden this constructor or i haven't done anything so what i can do is that i can uh, write print obj2 obj2 dot and after that as you can see that it is giving me so many options it is giving me class var1 var uh, class var1 var1 then class var2 so if i click on var1 and if i run this program as you can see that it will print this is class var1 in ace constructor it is not printing that this is class variable in class a it is printing that this is class var1 in ace constructor now guys why is this happening why is it printing that this is class var1 in in ace constructor because whenever the python whenever we tell an object to get the that variable that particular instance variable what it does whenever we tell an object to get that particular variable what it does that it searches this variable inside its instance variables and after that if it does not get into its instance variables it searches it for uh, inside its classes that is it will search first inside class b because it is the parent class of this object and after that it will go into
it searches for class where one inside its instance variables and for example if uh, this is not present here it will search for the variable class where one inside its class its class that is b class as you can see that i have uh, derived the object to with the help of the b class so it will search for class where one inside the b class and as you can see that we haven't defined any cla class where one inside the b class so it will go back to its parent class and it will get the variable from there so this is how guys the hierarchy works in the oops concept that is first the object it will look into its instance variables and if it does not get into it it will go into the class from which it is derived and after that it will go into the class uh, that is the, uh, the parent class and after that it will go into its parent classes so if I run this program, you know that this will print this is a class variable in class A because I basically commented this down. So it will print this is a class variable in class A. And now, for example, if I make this class where two is a uh, to class where one. Now what will happen, guys? As you can see, my PyCharm ID is showing me that this is overwriting the attribute in A because I have basically overridden this uh, variable that is class where one into this and this uh, and in this function overridden this variable inside class b i have made this is a class variable in class b and now i have changed this whole variable right here so if i run this program as you can see that it will print now that this is a class variable in class b because first it will access the class variable inside the class from which it has derived from and after that it will look inside the parent class that do i have any uh, variables inside that class or not but if it gets it inside this it will not search for it so for example if i uncomment this out and if i run it again as you can see guys that how oops concept works now this is really important guys if you are not paying attention i request to please pay attention on my words so this is a really important concept and this can basically summarize the oops concept so when i write print obj2 dot class var1 what happens is that obj2 it first of all goes into its instance variables and after that it checks that do i have a variable named as class1 class var1 inside inside my instance variables and if it does not have a instance variable named class var1 what it will do is that then it will go into the class that it is derived from that is class b if it does not find any class var1 inside that after that it will go inside the parent class that is the a class and then it will search for the variable and if it does not get there as well it will uh, really uh, it will not print anything and it will give you an error so for that purpose what we can do is that So in order to show you I'll uncomment this all and now if I run this program as you can see that it will first of all access the instance variable that is class var1 and it will print this is class var1 in A's constructor. It won't print this is a class variable in class B. No guys you might be wrong for that because as you can see in our output it has printed that this is class var1 in A's constructor. So I told you that my object it first looks into its instance variables and then it looks into the class variable so i hope that you guys understood how the overriding of variables works and what is the importance of the instance variables in the object in the oops concept So after this what I can do is that I can make a constructor in the B class I can write def underscore underscore in it and then what I can do is that I can just copy this whole bit and uh, I will paste it inside this in it. So I'll write self uh, dot var one and after that I can write B's constructor and similarly I can make this as B. So my PyCharm ID is showing me a blue a yellow line because it is telling me that you are not using this uh, constructor very effectively because not you are not using the super class so I'll talk about the super class in this video itself and if I run this program again as you can see guys that it has printed that this is class var1 in B's constructor because we have basically overridden the constructor of the class A now if I derive object 2 from class B it will this it will seek the in the init of uh, 
it will seek the constructor of class b because we have now made a constructor in class b and after that it will define the instance variables as this is var1 in b's constructor and class var1 as this is class var1 in b's constructor so that's how guys this uh, overriding of constructors work and this is uh, and that is the reason why it was printing b's constructor so after this what i can do is that i can if for example so after this for example i have a variable inside the a class i can write it self dot result is equal to this is result in uh, a and after that if i want to use this result what i can do that i can make the use <coughs> Now let's for ex now let's take an example that if I want to make an instance variable in the uh, in the constructor of the class A and I and if I <coughs> now let's take an example Now let's take an example that if I want to now let's take an example that if I want to make a variable an instance variable inside the constructor of class A and uh, for example if I want to name it as a result so I can write self dot result this is result in A's constructor I can make it this is a result in A's constructor and similarly if I want to access this self dot result inside the constructor of class b what can i do what can i do for that now if i want to write uh, object 2 dot result and if i run this program as you can see that it will give me an error it will tell me that object b it does not have an attribute named result why because inside the constructor of b we haven't basically uh, called the constructor of the first in <coughs> we haven't basically called the we haven't basically called the constructor of the parent class and that is the reason why it is not able to access the result and it is showing me an error. So in order to call the constructor of the parent class, we will have to make the use of the super keyword. Now the super keyword, it is used to call the constructor of the parent class. So I can write super. It is used to call the constructor of the parent class. So I can write super and after that i will have to write a dot and then underscore underscore in it now if i run this program as you can see that it won't give me an error it will tell me that this is result in ace constructor because i have called the constructor of the parent class it is able to initialize the result class uh, instance variable for this particular object that is object 2 and hence it is not giving me an error like it used to do previously now uh, if i make uh, if i now if I run obj2 dot var1 and obj2 dot class where so I will write obj2 dot var1 and for example if I run obj2 dot class where and if I run this program as you can see that it will print that uh, this is var1 in b's constructor and this is a class where in b's constructor. So if I call this constructor that is in the parent class after defining these uh, variables in these instance variables what will happen guys first of all it will it will initialize these instance variables that is this is var1 in b's constructor this is class var in b's constructor and after i have called the constructor in the a it will it will override the variables inside the class it will override the variables inside the constructor of class b and it will define it as this is var1 in a's constructor and this is class var1 in a's constructor so if i run this program again as you can see now it will print that the this is a, a result in a's constructor and this is var1 in a's constructor and this is class var1 in a's constructor so i hope guys that you understood how we can override classes in python and uh, how we can basically override the variables and the constructors in python and what is the use of the super keyword now if i comment this out 
and if I rerun this program as you can see that it will give me an error because the B object it, it basically does not have an attribute named result as you can see that I haven't written any attribute named as result and I've written an attribute named result inside the constructor of the A class. So I'll have to call the constructor of the A class with the help of the super keyword in order to access the result variable. So I hope that you guys understood everything in today's video and uh, uh, as you can see that when I comment this my PyCharm ID is showing me a yellow line it's showing me that you haven't optimized this constructor very effectively and that's the reason why it's showing me a yellow line so i hope guys that you understood everything in today's video and uh, i hope that you understood how we can use the super keyword so thank you so much guys for watching this video if you haven't accessed my python for absolute beginners playlist the link will be in the description i hope you are safe and i'll see you next time